Hello, hello. How you doing? Next. Could you keep talking for me? Yeah, yeah. Just want to make sure your level's right. So I'm not like. Cause my mic is like overpowering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I should have the mic around, like right here, for me. Say something again. There you go. Yeah. Uh. Uh, so... Oh, sorry.
Hello, hello. All right, all right. Uh, music says my booty's shaking, but I ain't shaking no booty. Um, let, let me, if I could, one second. There you go. So now you guys can hear our special guest today. Uh, welcome. Uh, it's, it's your boy, City. And uh, we have a Hello Loose competitive match today. Um, and I got a special guest today, uh, Quick Nix. How you doing, brother? A good afternoon for you, I should say. Yeah. It is. It is uh, quite early for for me still. Well, yeah, afternoon. Yeah, you're right. Let me make sure. Uh, Nick, could you say something? Good evening, good afternoon. Let's get the show on the road. I'm ready for this. I'm hype. It is uh very late for our boy uh Nick over here, so it's nine in the evening, it's not even that late. <laughs> this is usually when we play our games as well. All right. So uh late evenings. Um let me ask, what what do you have for dinner? Um <laughs> I had croissants, which uh, there's a French joke in there somewhere, but we'll leave it. Uh croissant. <laughs> So, um, I just had breakfast. I had carne asada fries. Very good. Fries, guacamole, sour cream, 
and uh, some meat. But um, other than that, we have uh, Utah Beast today, Nick, um, GXV on one side and Refuse on the other side. Um, Refuse being a new uh, combined team with uh, ARC and Raptors. Uh, Nick, you're yes. pretty familiar with them. Uh, having with Raptors, yes, uh, we've played. Uh, ARC. We've played alongside Raptors for quite a while. Yeah, so, so uh, some some very good players, you know, um, experienced players as well. Uh, I've casted uh, Raptors versus Golf for the seasonal, and uh, that was that was a really good game. Um, heard good night. That's, uh, that's that's a map pick. I'll give them that. It's definitely <laughs> a map pick. Yeah, heard good night. They they ended up taking the the L on that, but um, still, uh, Raptors very good team. I have casted um, ARC when they were playing seasonal with one two six as well. Um, with um, on they were playing against ballistics on SMDM and they absolutely rolled ballistics. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm hoping to avoid the world today, right? Yes, yes, that's that's the goal. Um, GXV, it's a three uh, three clan uh, co op, so it's a uh, glows, uh, 13th Legion, and Void. So if you if you guys want to take a look at who's playing, you'll see a bunch of the guys on the left. So uh, GXV will be playing allies, and Refuse will be playing. Axis, um, there are some special guidelines to this match. There will be no Panthers. Um, there will be untouchable nodes and one untouchable arty gun. So, uh, Nick, uh, this is this is something that uh, I think Seasono and some of the other people are testing out in competitive games. What's, what's your thoughts on it? Um. I like the no panther. We're, we're going to have a long ass debate about that uh, artillery rules, though. But the, the no panther seems like a no brainer to me. Just more maps become available, mm -hmm. more options are open. Because right now, you just ban allies on every map, right? Right. 100%. Um, but with having uh, having it balanced with no panther, the, uh, the tiger and the 76 could go toe to toe with each other. Do you think? Um, I think the 76 is slightly stronger than the Tiger, but it's reasonably balanced. Mm -hmm. Maybe it might come down to who gets the first shot. Yeah, right now, that. you have... If the 76 gets the first shot, the Panther has two seconds to react, which is dumb. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any other thing to say to that. It's just dumb. Mm. Well, all right. Uh, we have a match going. Uh, we're gonna look for Smithers here. Uh, let's see, Smithers, where are you? Is he even in the squad? Oh, right here, uh, George. So we'll go go ahead and look at it. Oh my God! Look at this look layout. This favors allies, in my opinion. Because you can defend your second cap <laughs> yeah, exactly. and attack your third. So basically you don't have to worry too much about the flank. Give me one second, Nick. Um, you can see everything uh, pretty good here, right? Yeah, I can see just fine. Okay, so taking a look at the map layout, Nick. Uh, red Roof House, AA Battery for the Allies. And we have WN4 for the mid midpoint. Um, Legrand and Flooded House for Axis. You were saying that... Um, it's kind it's of favorable. Roughly the best caps lineup that uh, GXV could have had. It's looking because good. Because you can go straight from AA battery <clears throat> into WN4. You don't have to go around or set up like multiple lines of attack. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. If it comes down to defending AA battery, again, you can go straight from the front. If you get pushed out of WN4, though, it's uh, a hellhole to get back into. That That's true for either side, by the way. Right, right. So, uh, with with it being a battery and Legrand, I'm sure you know W and four is obvious, but you know you'll see like this uh, grandma's house right here and chapel. 
uh, key points to hold as well. I think that little house up north is always good to hold. This uh, one as WN4. well. Yeah. And then the cap itself, it's so hard to get into, it's so hard to get out of as well. What um, Refuse could do is, even if they lose middle cap, they can basically trap GXV within the barbed wire, start stacking tank. uh, yes, start getting a few tigers up and just roll into the point. Right. We see a couple of guys getting in here. Uh, I will put on the highlights just for now. Uh, just so we could see all the vehicles pushing in, but uh, 35 seconds, Nick. Um, man, it's 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 great to finally uh, have you on uh, one of my casts, man. Uh, you've you've helped me a lot with uh, streaming, and, you know, giving me tips and all that stuff. So I appreciate you, brother. I have I've done absolutely no, nothing of this. Yeah. <laughs> you've done all of this yourself. Well, whenever I had a question, you you would help me, um, especially like with the 18s timer stuff. And all the credit for that goes to Altberg because he sent it to me. Yeah. So but yeah. It's just knowledge. So we have a game. Uh Utah Beach, GXV on Allies and Refuse on Axis. Um midpoint will be WN4, so we'll see how this goes, uh, Nick. And uh, that ping already goes like into the one gap in the barbed wire. I'm not sure they should be trying to shell that because I assume that the axis truck are going to go through the barbed wire. And if you see that little uh, building bottom left of the hard cap, so well, bottom right on your screen, I oh, guess. bottom right. It's like, right. Uh, no, 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 it's like inside the barbed wire, that little shack right there in the middle of your screen there. Exactly. Yeah, that's probably where I'm guessing an OP or two will go up once they drive through the barbed wire there with the truck. A lot of people already out. Are we rocketing? Yeah, that's not a good rocket. Rocketing, good trying attempt. to rocket it straight into it. You see a, a couple, uh, Kiar from Refuse hopping out already. Probably going to build a Border Gary, uh, Prey Day. Uh, GXV, uh, kind of, uh, getting to that northern side pretty quick here, but the trucks are still moving. The Lukes are moving, um, from Refuse. Hey, you see that little gate there, that little shack? Two OPs are going up there now, like I said. They actually also pulled up straight down the middle, so I'm not sure where the RD from... From, from GXV. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are in uh, Smithers squad, so... Um, all his uh, attack marks will probably be artillery. We haven't seen anything really come down yet, though. That's one gun per side, right? Yeah, one gun per side. Yeah, that um, makes sense. You can see Refuse's already is hitting right there, um, and then GXV's is right there. Cap progress is going to Refuse though, so um, getting everybody in uh, the cap sector. They've got like two squads out of cap. cap yeah, sector. I, don't, I'm not, I don't know about this, what, what they're doing there. I mean, if you can take this cap, it's a very good cap to defend, but if you have to fight for this cap, it's a horrible cap to get back into. Even if your allies. Right. Very big gap right here. You see the uh, medium 75. Just right there next to uh, Chow. On the middle of the screen. Uh, but the cap progress is not stopping for refuse. Uh, like I said earlier. There's about 3 OPs that are not in cap weight. And with that we also see a steward on a flank. And it's fun to do those flanks with a light tank. But right. they could have used those tanks as cap weight. They could have also put like a bit more pressure on these Luxes. They're just free roaming right now. And you've lost the cap and you're going to lose a lot more terrain. And that flanking Stuart isn't going to do a whole lot. Right, so we, we do have um, a Wix's tank squad in there. We get down dirty. This Luke's is still up. It's got a couple shells in it. Uh, but Maybe Refuse doing a good job. Front. Yeah. Refuse doing a good job of uh, holding that cap. Um, just like you said, a bunch oh, of OPs. You're losing seconds. Oh, yeah. They are. That has to be like a tank that drove in or something like that, like a light tank. And the hot cap, I guess. So, uh, so we I do have the, Puma, uh, yeah. the Puma. The Puma is just. Hurting them from the back. It's 
probably shooting at the uh, 75 right there where you see the engineers at um, Puma does go down so that cap weight should should um, go back on the second point but refuse they're clearing out this north side really well as well um, that steward is no more there's also a recon tank near Lagrand. There's a lot of Audi simping on this 75 though. It's about two engineers and a prepare station going up. That's uh, impressive. Yeah. Um, you see a bunch of the refuse guys over there on the west southwest side. See Daiso, uh, Commander. How would you say that? Is that Roy? We'll just call what? him Roy. Is it raw? Raw. <laughs> uh, raw meaning road in French. I'll oh, say, yeah. okay. But uh, Chapel, you've you've got a critical fail. You know, Overblaz, Twist, the Vodka. Um, if only you had good shooters, right? The what? If only if we had good shooters there, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but look at this. Uh. Refuse, kind of just asserting their dominance, man. Um, yes, I would have making a wedge right now between the two attacks, and I'm gonna take out one line of attack and then the other one. That's what I think what the, the plan is right now. Right, which makes a lot of sense. Um, even though I play for a GXV myself, uh, whenever I cast these things, you know, it's I always call it how it is. Um, <clears throat> right now, Refuse has total control. You know, um, they're they're two good teams that became one really good team. <laughs> um, their most previous uh, matchup, they beat 116-4-1 uh, on uh, SME. Yeah, I that believe. was impressive, actually. Yeah, so um, these guys are not chumps and um, going to take a lot for GXV to uh, put up a good fight. It does look like that 75, right? Yep, that's the opener 75, opener uh, PZ4. Should be coming. No AT around um, this Panzer IV, unfortunately. They should be meeting each other up right here. Let's do take a look. Whose tank squad is that? Should be Adner's. Oh, we got action. Panzer IV with two side shots onto the 75. 75. Yeah, get the hell out of there. Yeah, 75 is dead. Um, he had uh, infantry support earlier, but they absolutely got wiped. So, um, and you can see they've taken the south, they've taken the middle, they're gonna clean up north and then. Basically, the tanks are just gonna look from WN4 into AA battery. Right. Oh, that was a steward. Oh yeah. No, that's the recon tank. So the ground tank uh, on the back line, just shooting, shooting on the west side of WN4 right here. We've got. A squad for GXV on this north side, but artillery is just coming down straight on to them. Um, I'm not sure where GXV's artillery is landing right now, unless that was that was theirs. Uh, you could see there's no marks. Yeah, but you can see like they've pinched them out in the south out of the barbed wire completely. They're gonna do the same in the north and they're gonna start attacking the next point, right? The AT gun that's built there already had a rocket into it. Second rocket AT gun goes down. It's just a complete cleanup right now. Absolutely. Um, and then wait. you have an Axis MG with uh, La, La Chose on top of one of the silos. Mm -hmm. that's, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, he's just gonna be able to sit up there quite a while that uh that opener uh panzer 4 is coming up and there should be our first tiger 
coming on that northern road right there. Got American supplies dropping in for Commander uh, Osidius. Uh, artillery is just it is done deal for these two OPs. Yeah, there's still a garrison back there as well, and that um, once this OP goes, then the RD lands on the garrison, and it's not gonna get better. This is a is that the 76? It is, yeah. Yes, the 76 has eyes on the tiger. It was shooting the, either the tiger or the panther. So uh, there's plenty of targets to shoot from. It shoots the it shoots the tiger. Yeah, that's if they yeah. can take out the tiger, they can get some real damage in. Yeah. That was the second hit that landed on that tiger, but the tiger is. Back shot. Yeah. That's the fourth hit. <laughs> yes, they get a track shot. So he attracts. should be able to kill it now. The building might be in the way. No, there it goes down. That's a, a complete misplay, Alan. Just he might have refused to tiger. Right. GXV's front line has definitely been pushed out of WN4. Uh, this south side right here, Nick. We've got a couple, you know, recon squad versus recon squad right here. Dalmore from Refuse, Ch uh, uh, Chow and Chopsticks. He's banging the Gary, he should know. Gary is Gary. lit up right here. Yeah. Does look like. Let's see? They do know, yeah. Chow does Executed. clean it up. There we go. But, uh, man. Wait, it's Lappy New Plane. With, um. With the one already untouchable, uh, it it frees up the recon now for for this That's kind good. of rule set. Um, I feel like, what like do you if think you go into it? actual competitive, I think we're just going to see flare spams from recon. Right. I don't think it really does a whole lot. There would be just just basically fucking recon circles everywhere. Yes. Yeah, a lot of them. Like, you wouldn't be able to hide anymore, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that would be a thing. Right. Um, and, and even so, these, these guidelines, you know, it's it's all just uh, like a gentleman's uh, agreement, you know. Um, when, when the two teams play with each other, I think they're doing this to test it. Um, dependent on if it's going to be uh, used in seasonals or not. Um, I know. I know personally. GXV, where we're doing scrims like this to uh, prepare for seasonals. So it's better to try it. God damn, dude! Refuses uh, spread is like really nice. Uh, they haven't yeah. really pushed up yet. Maybe because they don't have armor support. That tiger dying is gonna basically delay their attack by, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes probably. Right, so... At the same time, we see that garrison is still up in G3. Um, it's getting farmed to absolute bits, but it is still there. That's gonna be job number one, take out that garrison. Then they want to start RDing with the 76ers, so they take out the repair station, the engineers right. and stuff. And then you want to get an AT gun or a tiger to take out that 76. Mm -hmm. And then you start moving. This is exactly what you were saying earlier. The front lines, they're just gonna get... If anybody's hiding, they're gonna know. Um, and then uh, another 76 is on its way to that north side, Nick. Yeah, they're gonna stack the 76s, which I get that that's normal to do. I hope they don't get too close enough for precision, though. But what they should be doing, I think Brata and uh, Rafistol are doing it when on your screen. They were gonna build an AT gun near the bridge. Yeah, they've right already here. built one. Yep. And they're gonna at least contain 76 is uh, what they're hoping to do with that. Oh, well. It works for a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Well, what's Not what's nice long. about uh, AT guns is that, you know, there's no cooldowns or anything, I believe, right? You could just, as long as you have supplies, you could just rebuild it. Um, I mean, preferably you shouldn't build it at the same spot because <laughs> they're gonna know. But um, um, I've seen uh, some some nice AT work in a uh, competitive before. And this is the part where this is gonna take a while because both teams are trying to outflank each other, which straight up isn't gonna happen. So what needs to happen is one team needs to just suck it up get the, the tank support going 
and just push in straight from the front, which is going to be a horrible line to attack, but that's what's going to need to happen. Right. It does look like GXV's uh, artillery is landing at uh, Grandma's house right there. Grandma's. Yeah, but if you open up the map, there's nothing else you can really support, right? Right. Like that garrison in G3, I guess he should be supporting that. I don't know why he's not doing that. That just, would make more sense. Just to help push him out. Um, I also don't get why refusing to take down that garrison like they should. It's such a car that farming it with artillery. Okay, I got you. So basically, they're trying to not allow them to, to build a garrison up the line and just gonna farm this guy with audio. Or did he genuinely have no idea? Not sure, but there is there is a AT gun with a repair station right here. Yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of RP action going on. Today. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. Uh, uh, taking a look at a battery, uh, Nick. You know we've got the GXV members just right there. You know this is all open field, so uh, infantry can't really push up there too much, especially. Strongly disagree. You don't think so? Yeah, you need all these smokes. You need a bit of tank support, but this is the way you take this point. Just on that it north side. The north. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's a team kill. Maybe that was a T TK right there, but uh, ice, ice and Tay. They are pushing up that uh, garrison mark right there. Should be able to get it now, yeah. Refuse has a uh, OP just right there in the trench lines, uh, more close to the front door. But um, but yeah, no. Uh, the northern pressure is gone for GXV, by the way, completely gone. They, There's the a... north is defending. Why is he going out of the map with that tank? I don't know. He needs to get back in time. Not like this. If he dies like this, it's gonna be so dumb. <laughs> not, I think it's fine not now. like this. Um, Refuse has taken control of Chapel here. They are dropping supplies for themselves on uh, Hill Five. Um, we'll just take a look at the map right here. Um, very extended all the way out to uh, the seven column here, Nick. Uh, we have a medium seventy-five coming out of middle. I believe that's the uh, the stock one. This house right here is absolutely getting wrecked by uh, Dalmore. He's lighting it up. They're actually just overrunning them myself, even. Yeah. That's, um, Using... that's a bit of an oof, I guess. They're that... just walking up straight from the front and the south. North is coming up well. Markcraft up the middle, even. And you take a look at it, there's infantry coming straight uh, where Fender's at. It does look like a bombing run is coming in on Chapel. So, we've, we've identified all the wrong strong points for GXV right today. Yeah. Bombing I get run. what's happening. They're trying to get some pressure going from the south so they can actually like clear the defense bit mm -hmm. better. But the thing is, like, they're just getting outplayed and outshot. And collectively, if you're not winning the fights collectively, you can't really push up that north side, right? Right. But if you can't push up that north side, I don't see it happening to be honest. Like I don't see where you go. I guess you can try to go for some red zone garries and then like a big flop. Like try to cheese it in, but you need north and middle. Right. Um already are already uh pretty close to the second point. You've got Chuckster and uh El Elminster. Well the thing is it should be there because there's no pressure on WN4 mm -hmm. and it can decide to either help out on Chapel Hill fight or for the points that actually, you know, matter in the game. So right. obviously it's going to shell over here. 76 that goes down. 76 does go down. Does. No. What? Yeah, one, AT something went down. Maybe the repair station. Repair station. Down. Um, if we take a look right here, there is that AT gun. I'm not sure where... Am I missing a tiger somewhere? I know that, that first one. It did go down, but you just look at it. It's just a bunch of red dots, man. Um, the 75 is on that creek near Chapel. But you don't see a lot of GXV members just right here where Mataj and uh, Lyrics are pushing up. 
So Refuse doing a really good job of just just pushing up, man. Pushing up, uh, winning these gunfights. Um, with very little armor support as well, right? Mm, yeah, but it's gonna cost them some. This is where they have an opening for GX feet to actually take chapel, and they're not really using it. Right. It does look like that medium 75 is trying to help them push. Oh, there's two the 76. 76 and the 75. Artillery is landing in AA battery from Refuse. The Northern 76 is still alive and it's kind of just been a stalemate at the moment. I don't, I don't know where the, uh, it's Tigers that uh I wouldn't be surprised if it's on a wide flank either. Or it could be behind the bridge even on the like what's sunken. Way out there. We do have a couple of wide boys, some uh some whammo guys, uh just south of Chapel as well. Um we got Devaco and Scooty Dirt dealing with some recon players. Commander is very south too. But I do want to see what's going on. We got Kiara. There's a tank. Kind of some uh, defense probes. You see a tank? I, I do have the highlights on. But let's yeah, go yeah, check that bridge. Bit to the right of your screen. There's the tank. It's all the way on the right of your screen. Yeah, there it is. You run by it again. It's just the uh, under the main building of WN. Oh, okay, okay. Right here? Was it yeah. this one? Like it's in the middle of your screen, on the bottom of your screen. Yeah. Thanks. So the tiger is pulling up. It does have cover from the those uh those barns or warehouses, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't want to die again to the seventy six up north. Yeah, which makes sense. These two uh, uh, tanks right here are leading the front. And this is where you make a trade up, right? Like this um, passive gameplay from the low tankers mm -hmm. has led them to get the first blood, but then. That also means they have the first two 76s up, like they have two heavies. The enemy is bringing up one, like, rushed, I guess. And they have a 75 as well. And what they decided to do with that, so far, was nothing. They decided to hold their defensive posture. Uh, that might have been the moment where you basically push it in. Right. Because it's only going to get harder to get up to WN4. Like, it's, it's not going to get easier this entire game. And you can even see eyes like all the way up like he's just he smoke is. artillery landing for them. He's pushing down north side. Yep, exactly. Uh, but if he gets like a satchel guy and you could just satchel the other side of the hedge, it'll be annoying. And the tank takes a hit. We've got Chang. Chang has a tank set. There's another something that blew up north side. I guess that's an AT gun that blew up on the north side again. Or refuse, oh, yeah. or I think one of the guns. Yeah, could have been. Um, with no infantry there, that seventy six is pushing, pushing out. Um, it should be obvious that <laughs> you know you you see the smokes and it's an open field. They're gonna use the smoke to push up. Um, but right now, you know, uh, GXV they've got a garrison in the very top map edge. In uh, H3, they've got one in H4, uh, kind of just along the the G, G and H line right here. Um, we've got Chow as a recon in the E column as well, trying to make his way north, but doesn't look like he's very successful with that. Let's I do see. like the, the more the redistribution of the, the infantry for Glow. Mm -hmm. They've kind of settled on a little bit less people south, and we need to hold the line, like straight front. Right. And if possible, even push it up. But this is, this is a horrible point to really, like, push straight front. These two caps in the line. So we take a look back at the actual cap right here. 
Um, I think that was of, a TK. The what? I think that was a TK. The guy on the edge just comes on up by his own tank. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see where this uh, this tiger went. He was right here. Let's see. M my blind eyes can barely see. Ah, okay. Did they put a half track behind the barn? What is that? Oh god. Yeah, it is. Where the commander is, you see the half track next to the red tank. Exactly on the commander now. This, this is this is not the play. <laughs> That's 300 fuel you really couldn't afford to spend right there. Is this a, a Raptors thing? Uh, well, the commando is not from Raptors, so it's not. I don't think it's a Raptors thing, but it's definitely not a thing you could be implementing, in my opinion, especially so early in the game. Mm -hmm. Now they're lucky that um, GXV is not really using their tank advantage to push anywhere. Right. They're content with just holding the line. So, in that regard, it doesn't really matter that much. But this is the kind of play you cannot afford against any other team. Also, that tiger is there and in, inside the barbed wire now. Right. Where Tikalu uh, is. That's where you see the tiger. Let me. I just need to. Okay. Sorry about that. So, the tiger is right here. Um, he's kind of just playing it cool. There was a. Hold on. Let me. Sorry. I just wanna. Get, okay. Is it choppy for you? No, it's alright. No, it's fine. Okay. So, um, the tiger is kind of just chilling there. Um, no pressure from the south. Uh, if we take a look at the map, there is the 76 right here and the 76 right here. Um, refuse, they got really close to that hedge line right there. W once upon a time, I think they're shooting at each other. Yeah, the Tiger and the 76 up north for train shots. 76 Take does have like the, the repair station and a bit of a, an engineer, like a bit of a tank stamp. Right. Straight down the middle though, has a mini. Does look like the refuse tankers are coming in and Repping their tank right here. It's interesting to see because um, GXV not choosing to even bother pushing this north side right here. When there's well, if you see where Markcraft is, that that by itself can shut down the entire northern part. Right. Uh, we are getting our second tiger just right here. An AT gun as well. So it's it's interesting to see how they are um, playing this north side. They haven't used a precision strike on this tank yet. No. So this tiger has backed out. He is looking on the south side right here. Chapel has kind of been taking control. By refuse, you you see a uh, cap, lone wolf, data, Rizzler. Pushing north right now, but the south side is is, I mean, damn, they, <laughs> it's like its own mini game within this game. But refuse using this hedge line right Watch here. Is, they're there. The Tommy is there. He's gonna run out of bounds. Try to get a satchel on. Let's did he just rock it to Gary? I think he did. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely takes it down. The garrison is no more. But there is a squad lead up there right now. You see Dolphin and Richard uh, Wagner probably trying to put up a new garrison. Um, it's definitely going to be hard when there's a tiger looking straight at that opening right there. Uh, T.E.H. of Refuse is there as well. Uh -oh. If he can get no piece toward it close to that hatch line, this game's basically over. We'll see. So um, that AT gun killed killed the uh, the 76 right there, Nick. 
You got was caught slipping. Was that 76? I think that was 75. I'm not sure. 76? No, you went. Yeah. 76. Two shots. I must have been hit by something else then as well. Yeah. Um, is that tiger still over there? There's a dead tiger. What? What's going on with refused tanks? They're not having a good day here. T E H or T E. Oh, he does go down. That's gonna stall this attack again, right? Yeah. Like them unable to kill this tank in the north will just keep stalling this attack again and again and again. Or oh, he did get an OP up, but Markcraft actually can spawn in. Tommy is there with the satchels, I suppose, the rockets. That's a team kill. That was not the play. <laughs> Markcraft was getting the satchel on as well. That's the worst part about that. But that OP should still be up. Tommy gonna do the same again, I guess. And the. The tank simp is actually like useful in this situation. Mm -hmm. Like they don't have to get out; they can straight back up, and then you have this push, right? Like, there's no chance they they make this work. That OP is gonna go down in a little bit. Right. Um. I, I do like the uh, coordination of the the artillery working with this northern squad right here. What we should be seeing now is we should see a bit more aggression coming from the tiger. Because they know they have the 76 on the ropes. He needs to back out of there. They have the infantry support there now. And I don't really... I'm not sure the Tigers are going to take advantage of this. They're going to stack this uh, this OP right here. Uh, with this advantage right here. Yeah, it's not really going to do a whole lot though. Like the, the 76 is smart enough to just back up straight. Just and HE the fuck out of that. Yeah, now you just have another field to run across, you know? Like mm -hmm. it's not... The OP still should be there. Let's see, Richard. I'm amazed that there wasn't any um, GXV Audi up here. No. Nothing. The OP does get burnt by Richard. Um, we're starting to get some smoke onto the point right here. Does look like it's going to be a refuse bombing run. As we take a look here at AA battery. Oh no. It's uh, sorry. It's a GXV um, bombing run. Um, taking a look right here, they do have a, a couple people at this house right here, Nick. Uh, maybe some pressure from the south, but a couple of refuse guys in this trenches right here. Uh, inside of the barbed wire. They're kind of letting them just walk through there. I don't know about this plane. Sort of a, a bit of a gap in defense that four guys can walk through now. Yeah. One squad lead. A lot of refuse members uh, spawning in from chapel right there. Uh, GXV, they don't have a, ch a garrison at Hill 5 no more. They're uh, OPs. Yeah, two guys on the map, I think, if you open the map. There's one battery, there's one south of it, and then there's one red roof, and then one I3. Yeah. So they got four garrisons up right now. Yeah, uh, I believe they had one somewhere right here, and then another one down here, but. Looks like refuse is uh refusing them <laughs> that that joke doesn't get better the more we say it. I've, I've I've used it before myself as well and it doesn't get better, does it? <laughs> no. Uh the garrison is right here. I believe uh Panda must have marked it. He was on it trying to take it down and then four guys turned around, shot him. Uh it's good, it's information that they have. Yes. They can already it all get game long and I don't think he'll get five kills off of that garrison there. No. But it's good that it's that the information it's is smart. there. And especially with, with the stuff, it does look like a seventy the seventy five is uh shooting smoke at that broken house right there. I like that. That's a smart play. Uh but little do they know Desi is at a different broken house as an MG. Um No they do know. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Can uh, never say someone's name. It's the Casas Chris. Exactly. I'm more worried that they kind of gave up the 76 in the north, and they just pretty much had to pull the tanks back in the point, so they had infantry support. The 75 is completely by itself. There's, yeah. They can get tied to rockets from the front even. Smart enough to not go through the barbed wire, but that's about all I want to give them credit for there. In that position, position strike. 
What the fuck did that hit? I don't know. The only... Uh, all of our tanks are still alive, so... Yeah. It wasn't us, I guess. It's kind of odd, but, um... When I say us, I mean the blue guys, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um... You see, uh, squad lead, uh, Ergo, kind of walking through that front door right there. Um, or at least trying to fill it out. Uh, we do have 52 minutes left, so, um, it's kind of been a little grindy here, Nick. Um, just the way we like it. Exactly the way we like it. What do you mean? Yeah. And it's, um, it's always a good, uh, match when you have a medium 75 straight into one. <laughs> <laughs> He's going for the that garrison? That was not the plan. Yeah. Had they stayed like in between the barbed wire, I would have respected it a lot more. They have opened up some wiggle room towards Grandma's house, I suppose. And Quilka Fail is just camping a bush there, gonna be able to shoot lyrics pretty easily. Mm -hmm. They might be able to get someone of a bush going from this, but... Oh, the 76 is going in as well, actually. Yeah. Ergo somehow got himself in a really nice position if you can get an OP up there. Yep, and he does have a 76 pushing up right behind him. Um, there's only infantry in the south side right there in that trench line. I'm sure uh, Che and uh, Tommy are going to move up to try to at least get a few rockets in to that uh, 76 right there. But Mark he... misses with the rockets. It's one on the side. Oh, this could be bad. That tank shot came from somewhere. And 76 is down. You got oh, it's right there. direction. Yeah, so the deflection from a t tiger just by the silo right there. Um, Ergo is still alive, but I don't think he'll, he'll be able to put an OP with people that close, right? He can put up an OP, but it's probably oh. going to go pretty fast. Yeah, so an OP is up. We'll see how this goes. Well, we'll go ahead and check back on it as we take a look at the south side right here. Hill 5, you know, you've got Rizzler, Dope Ducky. Yeah, uh, Snip producing a rocket of Lux. There's a, there's a Lux right there, Snip. He's out of rockets, I think. I think he had one of them and he missed the other one, so I think he's out of rockets now. Oh, that Lux knows where that OP's at. OP's still up right now, but it's it's lit up. And uh, where's our garrisons around that? Oh my god, we just lose everything. So we've got the uh, the recon squads already in the back right here. Um, a seventy six. The what? Is that actually Lapinu? I don't know. Is this our? I'm gonna, uh, check his I'm gonna watch. Is this our friendly uh, caster friend? Lapino? Yeah. He's on a 30 minute delay though. But it is him, yeah. So with that, um... Couple minutes going by, we have a couple of... Uh, infantry. Right here, Chives. He's a, uh, quad lead. But, um... Opening up this, uh, north side right here. Nobody at the front door. Remember when Ergo had the OP right here? Definitely got wiped out. Um, we'll see in a couple minutes once everybody spawns back in here. But um, I'm really enjoying this, man. Um, uh, we have strike out from OP BHB asking, uh, you take WN4 from the north through the open field? LOL. Well, um, the thing is, the south is open fields as well. Yeah. It's, it's just that why people do this push from the south because that's not where they will be looking. That's the the thinking, right? Right. But in a competitive game, people are looking everywhere. So I don't know. As we saw earlier, Refuse did push up with their uh, with their artillery smoke, and they they got really close um, to trying to get rid of that initial um, seventy six that was. Mm -hmm. Holding. I think um, I think it was Tommy, and I hate to call him out like that, but I think he team come Markcraft on top of the seventy six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That basically delayed this entire game by a lot. Yeah, the uh, the assault level nine uh, was on top of the tank, and uh, one of the 
ATs just shot him right in the ass, and it was not, it was not good because they instantly killed, team killed his uh his satcher guy, and the 76 just ran away. Um, taking a look at the the map right here, we've got a bunch of OPs right here, Nick. Um, you know, one Gary, two Gary, three Gary, four Gary. Um, this whole five has been pretty contested. Um, this is one more thing I want to point out with the one audio rule. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to see a shitload more. Like an absolute shitload. Just one line versus the other line and trade kills for 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that'll be that. Like there's an open field. If you have one, two gun shelling smokes, one gun shelling HE shells, or the other way around, two uh, HE shells and one shelling smokes, you create openings, you create a bit of chaos, you create something. If one team's already is up and the other team's is down, you could create a push. And even so, if you have those people like either on the RD or the RD defense or taking out the enemy RD, whichever, you know, they're doing, that is less people on the battlefields, which means a kill you get might create an opening. Right now, you can shoot 10 people in a row. There will be no difference in the line. There's nope. just the same amount of people will spawn in and you will have accomplished nothing. Nope, and then especially with uh, the recon flares, and it's just gonna be a back and forth. It's like, oh, I know where you're at now. Oh, I know where you're at now. And, you know. I don't think it's even gonna be a back and forth. I think it's just gonna be straight up line versus line. And basically, you know, the when the British did it, you know, like yeah. back in the day, <laughs> just line up and just take a yeah. game, fire, stuff like that. Like, there's gonna be so little momentum in any of this when you're done uh firing you just step in the back of the line and start reading <laughs> taking 30 minutes to reload basically, yeah basically. <laughs> instead of reloading you're just in the uh redeploy screen waiting 20 seconds they have made something like come closer again on the front right or refuse which is really good they they are trying to like get get in there trying to see so the tank has oh the half track is already in here okay well that was a half track previously where was that uh tiger at earlier i'm trying to trying to catch this sorry i i haven't cast it in like two weeks so uh this is like we could go down to the ground a little bit more and we can have a check yeah. it'll have to be this high i suppose I don't really see it either, I guess. I don't know. I would expect it to be where owner is now, like behind this little house. Well, it is there, but that's a dead one. Yeah, so... I wanted to make it. An MG is just right there. We'll go ahead and just sweep this little front line right here. The 76 is shooting something. Let's see, so there's a steward down on the south side trying to help push. Um, maybe this tiger died again? Because he was on the hard cap uh, just over there, but haven't seen too many um, refused tankers up. Over on the south side, it does look like they got an OP just right there. That steward is not gonna get rocketed he's looking over there it's a very nice shot from them got a ping going out from one of the people in my squad man it's you've got a couple a of... lot of set lines right now you know yeah i, I wonder how you break this and uh, what i would love to see is where is um glow recon like maybe drop supplies behind, build a red zone garrison and have like a huge spawn wave. Right. I, I don't know if that's going to be worth it, but you have to like try something towards the end, right? Because, well, what's going to happen is no one is really going to cap anything if this remains. Mm -hmm. They're just going to kind of hold their, their ground and maybe send a few people up to see where they're at. Um, 76 is just right here. 
No garrison up at the north side. There's still no P over there. We've got a, a couple probes in the back right here in the uh, I column for GXV. I can't put a garrison up on the north side anymore because they have one directly on battery now. Right, I, yeah, it's going to be uh, too, too close. So that'll be the nor most northern Gary right there. The, the 76 is going to look to go back to its little spot right here. On Utah, let's see. Is that a barricade? <laughs> let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, I mean, at that angle, if you can, if you can set up an MG there, why not, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, refuse coming uh, from the south southwest side of the AA battery. I was about to say two squadies as well, but one of them drops immediately, so it's lyrics there. Yes. If Ergo and Input Name can hold this attack off, which it should be able to do, it, it looks like we just go straight back to square one every time, right? Mm hmm. It absolutely does. Um, especially with, uh, at least just from what I've seen and what I've noticed, is that the GXV uh, tankers are, are kind of delaying a lot of the refuse uh, advance. You know, we, we had that little steward go over there, that chapel, just to kill uh, a few people. I don't know if he actually burnt any OPs, but um, I mean, you just look at it, the, the, the blueberries, like they're not even close to the cap weight. And, you, you know, this is what they're seeing. Okay, we see this flare go up now. I better see artillery here within the next 30 seconds. Because right now you cannot complain about not having marks because the marks just went up for you. Yep. Over there on the north side, uh, Tay. Yeah, you can have fun with that one. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to be him. <laughs> this, this is where you, it's good to be able to. You need to push from there. That's going to be the most important push. Right. But you need the tank superiority, and they don't have that now. I do see that Spike got out of his tank in the north there. All the way on the back of your screen. Oh, yeah. There. Yeah. Um, I do want to check this corner. Should just be uh, OP right here, but. Seems like a lot of people. Could be two apiece. We saw two squad leads earlier. There might be two of them. Yep. Just like you said, artillery is hitting uh, a little bit closer towards AA. Um, mm -hmm. If he was a little bit more south, could camp that uh, OP right there. But you were saying there was a tank squad right here. Yep. Yeah, I think he's out of his tank trying to spot it. And they're going to drive forwards across the wall. Like, put the. I don't know why he's turning the gun again. Just put the gun 90 degrees to the right. Exactly. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> Go for which big shot and back up, I believe. Because the spike right here just marked this tank. He pinged it accurately to know where it is. Take a shot. Oh. They, they take the shot. They don't. Oh. Know, they hit the wall. Uh, and they hit the tr the the house. That's uh, oh, that's a bit of a yikes. That one. <laughs> very, <laughs> very uh, intense uh, gameplay right there. Uh, artillery. Or GXV is hitting that little hedge line where Refuse yep. has um, that kind one of died. Only push. Yes. Yep. Let's see if this this bombing. This is a GXV bombing run, and it's gonna hit nobody. Uh, bombing runs. It's gonna kill to kill. Oh, Actually, there's two bombing runs. Two there's bombing runs. As well. Yeah, that's gonna take out some repair station, and this tank is low now with the sim. Yeah. This might work if D. No, he doesn't get the OP up. He does. But his OP is out in the open, I believe. Nah, I think it's further back, if I'm not mistaken, by the trenches. Maybe, yeah. maybe down there, right there. Yeah, it is. So. That bombing run missed three people. The OPs are still there. Uh, Urgo just got TK'd and uh, Te, we're waiting to see what what happened. But um, that bombing run wasn't a, wasn't a bad bombing run, I would say for uh, for Refuse. It's just the timing. I think uh, it took out repair stations if you open the map again, and I think that's about what. You, yeah, it took out one repair station, I guess. Yeah. Something does they fly. They not over. have a garrison on the point again. They, they, I think they dismantled the garrison on the point so they could build one north. Yeah. Um, How do they keep losing the garrison? Is there just tanks shelling in there? 
I believe it's uh the recon. They've got a couple of infantry back here in the back line. Um, if we just uh, I think I might know what's happening. So I think the recon is marking the garrison since the rockets not even together. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. But uh, Chuckster is fucking having a day <laughs> this over here. Point is uh, is very spicy all of a sudden. And yeah. There's no garrison up. There's two tanks, but that's not gonna save this point. If you take a look here, um, Refuse is absolutely just rushing the point now. Um, Richard could put up a, a garrison where he is, right? Like he's got some. Yes. Tony. Yep. Um, no, no supply guy there yet, but the closest garrison is in I three, and that's yeah, a long. Four garrison walk. is locked, so. Richard is kind of the only hope. Uh, and with this 76 on point but it's it, it's not gonna hold it's not sustainable no this is where you could have used the bombing one also artillery switch to hard points like if you're losing it with a tank in there and you still have enough people in soft cap they're in the hard cap kill those guys first and then we work from there mm -hmm. it does look like artillery is hitting the hard cap um for both teams this northern side there is a garrison back up so we'll see how this this comes along uh that 76 is still alive you see uh Matej. Yeah, for some reason Matej is finally someone with a satchel comes out i guess <laughs> Matej is gonna come out oh i think he got shot from behind that backup goes an overblast saves the thing yep. yeah overblast does get it, um, but also still. Strafe come in. I think with the one RD rule, it does allow for more commander abilities, I guess. Yeah. So we've got a strafe run from Commander o Osidius. Look at that spawn wave. Where are they? Where is Ardy? Where's the marks for uh, refuse? So we've got um, Honey Badger's tank squad right here. He's getting smoked now. Yeah, that's how totally smoke. That's that might actually be the more beneficial play. Mm hmm. <laughs> Markgraf gets absolutely yeeted by a rocket. There's a half track <laughs> pulling into the point. Do you see that? Yeah. Where um, oh the commander just got out of the half track. So just behind that building on batteries, they pulled up a half track. They want to solidify it right here. This is the first half track they spawned as well because he drove it up from uh, the barn, I think. Yeah, it could work. Should work, actually. Artillery is but coming in from, from GXV. Um, the G marker is Smithers. He's on artillery right now, so. Oh, they know about it. Look at it. Look at the pinks. They know about it. I think overblast yeah. marked. There's a bit of a yeah, there's a bit of an opening where they can spot it. So, artillery should be landing directly on top of this um, half track. Meanwhile, Tse on the north side doing the same run the entire game. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> if if he can get it, if he does it, man, hats it's off to him. Yeah. If they can take out that tank in the north, I'm. Again, unsure where the um, the tigers are. Like, where's the the armor for refuse? Like, this is the time to be aggressive. You know what I mean? Exactly. This is the time to push and, and just finish it off. So, as we were talking about Te earlier, um, he's kind of just gonna have to sit here. I heard. Oh, there you go. So we have the tiger over there. We'll go ahead and keep a keep an eye on this north side right here as put up a, yeah he put up an op as well i don't know if teacup is close enough or if he goes out of bounds and then runs yeah i think the op is already gone maybe yeah that's annoying so the op does go down but i mean look at it refuse is still in the, the actual point itself um that 76 that was on point uh honey badger's tank squad has been eliminated Did so he killed the half strike with the artillery or did that just double check oh, he killed direct with artillery okay that makes sense don't know what killed the half track so we take a look here on the north side the tiger is still here with uh another at gun tiger Honestly, if i'm the tiger shift w <laughs> That's it, just fucking yeet it, because like, he has the infantry in front of him over there. Yeah, and this is the time to yeet it. They, they know where both the tanks are. If you take out one, you cap the point. That's airhead coming in as well. 
Oh yeah. And after a, a long bloody grind, it looks like we fuse have got this unlock. Artillery landing on the garrison directly. Does look this like should, a. This should be a cap, yeah. Airhead is coming down. It is a refuse. Airhead. One of the tanks already dead. Yeah, this should be it. And now this becomes a lot more of an annoying lineup because defending Red Roof House while attacking Batterby is very difficult. Right. Now these guys like Prayday and uh, Shifty, they're just gonna walk towards the uh, Red Roof right here. Um, it's already locked. Yep. Yes. There's that no might be all she wrote. It might be. Amber Lamps is uh, trying to walk back there, but with the control of AA, as we're looking at right now, uh, Refuse has came in. They've they figured out where that built garrison was at the north side, where you see Forbidden, for Forbidding at, and Artillery Tay. He he. <laughs> Right as I say his name, give up. he doesn't give up. <laughs> he doesn't give up. Very I consistent. Um, but are they? Oh. Um, they have a chance to defend this. It's it's very slow spawn. No, no, they spawn on the airhead, so it's over. Yeah. yeah. The refuse airhead is just right here behind. Oh, that's us. such a good hardy shell that actually contested. Three guys die on the hard cap, but that was a contest for a second. They are gonna finish the cap now. Yeah, we should have done that sooner though. That already needs to like the team kills are just extra spicy. It doesn't matter. Like mm -hmm. let them scream in command chat. It's fine. If you're able to take one TK for five guys, hey, I think that's a a good good shell in my books. Exactly. I'll take three even. It's fine. <laughs> three for five. <laughs> yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take three enemies for one friendly even. That's oh yeah, of course. Uh, 76 still on that north side. It does. Just want to double check. Red roof here. Um, you see uh, some of the refuse, refuse sniper. Got commander and stuff. No chance. Um, and three tanks up, three nah. heavies. Yeah. And the artillery landing where it should be landing. Only one OP though, which is very, very slim on the, the attacking side. The attack is that, yep. Uh, love squad. So if you got one, two, and then you've got three. Um, if only oh, they. Strike? Did I get one of them? No. It might have gotten the one on the north. No, it nah, missed it, it? it missed it. It hit like somewhere right here. But even with the the tanks just right there, there's like absolutely no infantry. Um, maybe with the spawn that's gonna come right here, we'll see something come. But. Uh, We've got. Our yeah, the tiger's taking side shots at 76. No, it's an AT gun taking side shots. Two AT guns right there. Oh, <laughs> that one's gone. One AT gun now. But, um. <laughs> what is that? Easy, easy peasy? Easy peasy. Yeah. Um. Uh, Forbidden actually fell off because they drove to the barbed wire, I think. And the 76 goes down. I think he was out of ammo and just yeeted it in. Ah, uh, okay. He was. He, he was alive for quite a bit of time as well um but if you look at it that that love squad op has been wiped and everything is probably just gonna push towards like right here they're gonna push everybody out of the the um the soft cap right and then kind of control you this north and then you can't push them out of the soft cap with 276 is in front of you which is not happening fresh spawn wave coming in for gxv right here um like the, the tiger gameplay has not been great so far. It needs a bit of work. Mm -hmm. But then again, this is also you know a new team coming in, and I know like I've played with Abukaba and Captain Pollux before, and I think mm -hmm. they have a new guy in their tank. Mm -hmm. So they're okay. still working on chemistry internally, I suppose. But right, right. That that needs to improve against the. Uh, Let's say you go up against the, the new WDH tanks. These guys have played together for years. Mm -hmm. You really need to get that synergy going then. 100%. Um, with the spawn wave, I did see uh, an Arty shell wipe, wipe right there. I think that's about like the, the border of where it could actually land. Um, but we'll see if that Northern squad could survive a little bit longer this time. 
Yeah, this is a fantastic map for ID. You can basically hit all the last caps as well. Holy shit, okay. I uh, didn't see this coming, but uh, at least not this quick. Uh, Prey Day, you know, uh, and Shifty, they've probably got a couple Close OPs piece, right here. Yeah. Uh, you can see where uh, Desi spawns in. And uh, for GXV, they've got one North, N Squad, and A and P. Uh, medium 75 coming in. But this point is just like a courtyard. Satchel going off on Red Roof. Cap progress is still going for for uh, refuse here. Uh, a little, a little contesting, but um, a lot more red dots than blue dots. I think Scythe up there just rockets at one of the spawns. Yeah. So the influx of refuse players should be slightly lower. So if they can kill a couple of guys. They should be okay. They, I think they're over committing to defense even. We'll see. The cap yeah, is going pretty pretty quick here though. Nick. And you know, looking at this, everybody's just rushing back. Yeah, I don't know about this. I don't think this was the play. There's five, six, there's six people back and we're calling back about 15, maybe more. Including two tanks. Yep. This is giving up a lot of map control. I, I think calling half the people back would have been enough in this instance. But it's hard to tell, you know, when you're in the sky and you see what's happening, it's yeah. a lot easier to go about this. Oof. Oh my god. Got killed from hill, I think. Might be a uh, AT gun. So with those members of GXV pushing back, you know, they're running a little thin just right here where we're looking at. Uh, you've got a bunch of refuse guys just kind of just sweeping out. Um, Tech, he's he's making <laughs> he's he's doing it again. <laughs> but I've been there squadly before. It is um, it's a game you play. It's a yeah. It's a mental game, especially. If we take a look over here at uh, Hill, man, like this is already heaven, bro. I feel like there's way too many people on Hill, though. Scythe the rocket snipes by Go Void Legion have been spot on for like a long time now. Yeah, we we have a a guy named uh, Scooty. Shout out to uh, Scooty Dirt. He like does all the R and D and tells us what angles and, and all that stuff. Tell him to hit me up. He loves it, yeah. Should come. He spends his mornings just <laughs> rocket sniping shit. Um, in the pub game, I actually tried it once and it, it actually worked. I think it was like 710 meters on like uh, SMDM or something like that. I actually got it. Nice. Um, so... With 25 minutes left, uh, GXV on the Allies and Refuse on the Axis. Um, Refuse initially taking the first cap and clearing everybody out, but GXV not making it easy for them to uh, take AA Network. But eventually, uh, with the power of love, Refuse uh, definitely took AA Network there. And it brings us here. Uh, we're at Hill 5, and the last point for GXV is Red Roof. This is one more thing I have also noticed from playing with uh, Raptors in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, if you open the map again, I think they do a really poor job of clearing a soft cap and go for the attack on the next one immediately. The, the defense for when I played with Raptors was usually just yeah. hard cap defense. It was back to the wall like one good frontline push defense was gone right so I, I feel like they make that same mistake again they're going they have more people on hill than they would ever need to hold the point mm -hmm. so these people are going for an attack on red roof and they've kind of what i think should be happening if you open the map again if they can pressure those tanks and get that ghost in i3 mm -hmm. and you can start camping north hq yep that's when you can put like I don't know, five people on defense, like way less people will be needed on defense. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can get an attack on Red Roof going. So taking a look at uh, a battery right here, I believe there's a there is our big boy right here. So the tiger is up against the two seventy sixes with two repair stations, mind you. Yeah, uh, GXV have been really good about keeping repair stations next to their seventy um, sixes. Yeah, they're playing a very stationary style with their tanks. Yeah, which does. A lot of times help you win the tank engagements but what i think they're lacking is once they've won that won those tank engagements you need to hold the w key and you need to push up with the infantry and take a point because you can trade tank kills all game long if you don't take rounds from it i don't think it's worth all that much it does look like this at gun is pinning down this 76 that the tiger is engaging they're building one AT gun after the other just to try and deal with these tanks because that's just the bane <laughs> of their existence though. They, look at Markrevs and Tear up north again though. ICE is helping them out as well now. Yep. This is what if you were saying earlier. Out, yeah, if they can take out this garrison, take get rid of these tanks, and basically you just start camping in the north HQ, defense is free. Like, half a squad, maybe an entire squad if you want to be really sure, can hold the defense. And that means you put on so much attacking pressure that I don't think GXP will hold it. Having said that, they're sort of holding on to this front line though, GXP. Tiger oh. actually takes a shot. The flex. Let's see, to the left right there, there is that AT gun. I don't know if that AT gun has a sight. Um, both. Both crewmen are getting out to rep, but uh, Richard and Richard is basically Richard squad versus uh, Day squad. Repair station does go down. What I also wouldn't mind is artillery helping out these tanks. Once you know that you've gotten a hit, if Hardy can land there, those two guys jumping out to repair are dead, and then you have a solo tanker that's just trapped behind the hedge and he can't move. One hit does go in. We'll go ahead and look at GXV's defense, and it's it's kind of been the same right here, Nick. Um, I mean, you see, uh, Ramakus, Ramminkus. Ramminkus, We'll just call you Ram. Uh, Lapino oh. and uh, Norma. Um, they they're pushing down. Should be a creek right there. I don't know if it's registering for you but um there were a shit ton of uh refused members there um i know that oh tank is under a lot of pressure tank simp is dead guy with satchel running behind it tell me already got one rocket in yes the second rocket in rocket should be redeploying this guy takes woodzella i think takes an op gets two kills so this tank is in panic mode, right? Now is a good time for the Tiger to push up as well. Yep. Tiger looks like it's still there. There is two 76s, I suppose. Yeah. One of them is now finally cut off from its infantry. Does he have a satchel? I think, think so, yeah. I think it's an MP40 guy. Oh yeah, burns an OP. OP. Is he gonna attach to the repair station? <laughs> now he's just a tank. <laughs> Things better off for attaching the repair station is like, oh I can actually do some real damage here. Yep, he does have the satchel out. Adners is getting out. Satchel. Oh, he doesn't get it. I think Not the satchel is on. on yeah. Though. He's showing his ass towards the tiger as well, by the way. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Satchel is on. No, is that the forbidding? But Forbidden can, could actually take it down here. Yeah, it is on, it's on the front. Yep. They need to stand still. They need to take the fight with the tiger. And they're driving, they're dead. Uh -oh. They just killed themselves. There's, there's no time anymore. Yeah. They so killed themselves by like trying to moving. dodge the tiger. They need to just, just take the fight and pray. Mm -hmm. Because now they're certainly dead. 
so with 176 gone, this is kind of a free game for Refuse now. They don't have to deal with armor. Um, not a lot can of infantry. Can you check that AVOX OP is? Can we zoom in on that? Where Mudelius? Can you check that OP right there? That bit to the left. That one. Yep. That's an OP. That's the OPs I want. Oh, he's moving it to a sensible spot. I hate it. <laughs> AVOX has moved it uh, behind that house, but... Um, Open field OPs. Real chats. It's 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 just saying shoot me, uh, you know, show me your skill. <laughs> I mean, if you want to avoid artillery, that's where you put your OP. Yeah. Looking at red roof right now. Uh, seventeen minutes left. Um, and if if GXV doesn't uh get into gear here, it's 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 gonna be four one five zero. Um, I think they've also been playing not necessarily to to go into gear, but mm -hmm. mostly just to see how long they can hold this basically this onslaught of uh, French players off, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a seventy six just right there. It should be Wix's squad. Um, nothing too much on the south here. You see Daitso and uh, Raminkas. As the spotter, you see the commander for refuse. Oh, I Hillfire. see a medic. I see pyro magnets on medic class. Let's go. <laughs> let's let's fucking go. He's using it for the smokes, He's pushing up open field because he doesn't want to get arty, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you don't uh, get arty in the middle of the field. It's a very underrated tactic. There's a, a bit more of an important fight going on in the north right now. If you can open up that map real quick again, there. So they have cleared out. No, they haven't cleared out the garrison yet. And the tanks are still alive as well. There's a precision strike coming on the tiger in the north. I'm not sure if that got it. It was right here, right? Okay. Yep, repair station for the it, no. for the tiger. Um, refuse already on the beachhead right there. You've yeah, got... I think they got another satchel on one of the 76s there. And this garrison is about to go down that they have on the front line. Uh, the tank is in desperate state. And if they can clear out this beachhead, camp the Norden HQ, then... Yeah, see there's the satchel on one tank. Uh, that one's gone. Yeah, one that's... One alive. That's the same uh, same guy, Mazule. He satcheled uh, that other tank yeah. too. Go three for three if he wants. See, there's an OP right here that he's gonna burn, so he's putting in work, bro. There's an engineer. He's off. Um, as you were saying, there's a Gary right here. Uh, but this is what you wanted to see. Uh, just from refusing himself, what they right? Need to take out, yeah. They need to take this out, and then that last point is gonna fall. If you basically have such good map control over your defense mm -hmm. and your kind of just fucking like their attack you can put so much people into your own attack and just get cap it on tiger is peeking oh my god that's a, such an awkward thing down there oh maybe they don't have the angle maybe this too much elevation oh he shot tiger knows where it's at the tiger doesn't have the depression now if it goes up he doesn't have the depression oh, what's going the still should... someone shoot someone someone shoot Tiger gets the hit. hit. I no, that wasn't attracted. No, you got the hit off. Yeah, Tiger should be fine here. Did they miss? Ah, uh, there yeah, you go. So the Tiger does go. Uh, bombing run coming in while we were looking at that tank fight. Onto here. There is a Luke's. So we've got a Lux pushing Low in. Hardy, uh, just hit on top of Lux and killed like three refused guys. Pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> but yeah, I think they've gotten the garrison in the north now. And they will be camping the beachheads. Uh, it's going down now at least. They still have an OP there. But I'm, I'm assuming all of this will be cleared up. And you can already see Lachos, Akos, I don't know how to pronounce it. 
With the MG ready to camp at the top HQ, they still have to get me up though. Desi is next to it. Garrison is just right there next to Capitalism. Uh, Ice is coming in on the back, on the north side right there, but then he does have Peace and Flick just right there. That Tiger will probably be pushing up to support. The ti Do you think that Tiger has an angle on that Garrison? Or it's too much in the ditch? No, but uh, I've also seen these Tigers play very... I wouldn't say passively, because the, the glow tanks have been playing very passively and every time they just turn up somewhere, they get hit first, basically every time. Right. So, I think they're just playing... Realistically, they just don't want to just yeet in a tank. That's what they want to do. Right, right, it's right. Just fair enough. I do want to say thank you guys for tuning in to this match today. Uh, if you're not hearing my voice, uh, the lovely voice of Quicknix is with me today. So uh, I appreciate him taking his time to cast with me. And we finally got uh, a cast together. Um, so I appreciate you, Nick, for joining. Uh, <laughs> Ah, thank you for having me. It's been a um, good game so far as well. Yeah, um, me and Nick are... You play artillery for uh, DC, right? Uh, or you play whatever? Amongst others, but mostly Artie, yeah. Mostly Artie. Um, I mostly play uh, artillery for GXV, so... Um, today, I did not want to play. I, I wanted to get back into casting, so... Um, I'm really uh, enjoying this so far, especially with uh, good company. So I appreciate you. Appreciate you guys watching as well. If you guys uh, want to catch some more games? I think uh, Nick, you casted Sesh versus Alpha. That's on your Twitch yeah. channel. Yeah. So, so you guys could go uh, give him a follow and uh, watch that vod. How was it? Was I it? Think it a good game. It was a meat grind over the middle point the entire game. It was Holy. lovely. Like, <laughs> just explosions and yeah, it was brilliant. It was on they foy, basically, foy night too, yeah, right? Foy. They, they basically capped the edge, but, the, but no one could stay alive in the hard cap. It was brilliant. Great fun. A little aggression from uh, Refuse here with their armor pushing up. Um, yeah, we take a look at the map. Might, that... Go ahead. They might not have anything to, to, to counter this. They don't have, they have 30 fuel. I don't see any tanks alive right now, so I'm not sure how they're going to deal with this. Because this is the problem with the line you have, right? They right. they held a really good line, they had armor to, to hold the line with them as well. Right. But if you have nothing... Oh, they do have presence in the enemy sector, never mind. I was yeah. going to say, if you have nothing in the enemy sector, it becomes very easy for the tanks to just roll up and just blow everything up. But it looks like they do have that. Right. Uh, they might be going for maybe a spawn over here or something. Do you see anything? Do you see it? There's a rep station right there. Maybe it is. But um, Hill 5 has been controlled by Refuse for the last uh, couple minutes here since they've taken uh, AA network. Um, they This north side, it hasn't totally been lost. But now it's kind of been switched because prior to that, this tiger was not trying to but, be in this area at all. <laughs> I was going to say, is that a half shot? But it's just a truck they pulled up for some reason. Not sure why. Yeah. They still need to get rid of this, this garrison and just like literally camp the HQ. That's what they need to be doing. If you take a look at the POV, you could probably splash it, right? Maybe they just don't know. Because the garrison no, because is just. There was a guy like basically looking at it. Not ago. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> Chang with a beautiful rocket onto. That Let's go. That, that, that support. <laughs> no, they, they've built a repair station for this tank now, but. Why not just take this uh, this hedge, uh, this um, cliff right here? And if they have to come up from the beach, they're just not coming up. Like, no one's making that run. Against a couple of German MGs, right. no one is making that run. It seems like... Um, 
they want to go full 90 minutes uh, here. Nick. Normandy is <laughs> middle of their capital. Look at that. Yes. There's one refuse guy in there. Right next to you. Oh, he's at SL2. So taking a look at uh, from the GXV POV right here. Uh, no cap progress from um, refuse here, but you could see where they're trying to set up. You've got uh, quite a few GXV members on that north side right there. Uh, you, if you take a look, there's a cluster of OPs right here next to the garrison. Uh, they're dealing with a tank. Right now, GXV does not have a tank other than a steward that's going like whammo over there. You've got a few OPs right here, but... Um, yeah, but refuse. again, I've, I've mentioned this earlier. There is no tanks up for GXV. And still the Tigers are hesitant. I'm not sure what this is about. Little too less W key up there. Yeah, it does look like a recon tank is spawning in. A couple of garrisons getting getting lit up right here. So uh Prey Day, you've got Daiso all the way on the south. Uh as but an MG. They should be able to lock the south HQ, they should be able to lock the middle HQ now. Now they just need to take the garrison on the point, a couple of OPs and get in there and then it should be doable to win this 5-0, but Glow is not like, they're bending, but they're not cracking. Yes. Did, did I just see another? Um. Interesting. Don't know. You tell me that's your team. I don't, uh, I'm uh, not sure what that barricade uh, is. Hey, I don't even know myself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> An AT gun was put up by GXV. Trying, it's it got like a hit in and then a deflect, but Tiger will probably always prevail on that one. Um, so there's a Tiger on the north side. It's the same one. Neo Panda Neo has. Panda how? I have no idea how he how he got there, and there's absolutely. There's, no there's a gap. There's a gap. Oh, go, uh, and and Tay, yeah. yeah. Confuse. He should be close to a spawn here next to Commander. Kenderic has stopped in. Hello, Kenderic. I need to get Kenderic on. It's one of the casts if he's down. Yes, that show should be one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah take a great cast as well. Yeah. Yeah, I like watching his cast. Recon tank for GXV is kind of rubbing that south side of the courtyard. Um, Tommy's probably just gonna annihilate him. Let's see. Should do. Yeah. This is where the rockets are like most. Oh, he dies. Never mind. Maybe he be deployed. Maybe he was out of rockets. Oh yeah, he saw it and it's probably like, what the fuck. There's an OP behind this house right here. Um, bombing run. Bombing run straight, straight right here. Yeah, but with like four or five minutes left, we're going for a defensive bombing run. Yeah. So that also tells you the intentions of, of uh, GX3, right? They, they yeah. want to just hold this last cap. Don't want to lose it 5 0. That's a couple people definitely playing for the 4-1 uh, right now as they refuse has a minute and what 40 seconds no two minutes 40 uh, seconds to start tapping holy shit okay so refuse tanker is coming in big <laughs> with that 75 yeah okay now there's just like we'll just cap they could have done this earlier i think mm -hmm. now they've decided we just want to cap this point and we're just gonna roll in there because we basically can't lose anymore probably they need to hold on for 20 seconds and eye the defensive point. And now they're going with the aggression. But this could have happened way earlier. There's a second tank coming as well. Tiger coming in there too. Down the main roads. Uh, two Tigers. One of them is actually probably going to put himself in the hot cap. Or like on that front gate there and just peek out the front gate. And just lock down the entire hot cap. Does look like a... Uh, oh, what the fuck? AT gun. Mind? Just AT gun. AT gun. Two hits as well. Oh, and they do get taken down by either Lapino or Rominkus. 
Uh, uh, they have a minute and 40 to start getting into this cap. I would love to see a couple of smoke rounds artillery as well. Mm -hmm. The artillery could reach like right here, right? From what I remember. Behind the house, because it's reaching where a city is behind the house. That on the garrison, that's oh. not from the Audi. I can tell nope, you that much. Nope, nope, nope. If Batesh puts up a satchel there, maybe or the bombing one takes out Batesh. Does it take out the Gabby? No. Does not. A minute Does and not. Ten and is what they have. We have a whole bunch of people on this south side right here. Um, they've got a Gary up and now they're... Yeah, but why are they running for attack? Like, n right now you play for 4-1. You're yeah. not winning... You're not losing 2-3 even. Like, you're definitely not winning. The Tiger like, does... Oh! That's, a spawn. That's, a de that's definitely a spawn. You think West put up a, a Thatcher or no? The Tiger takes out the Gary. Um, they need to just defend for like 30 more seconds and then they will still... Despite not having anyone in cap anymore, like any spawns, they will still not lose 5 0, but it looks like. Eh. Tribes going in for Satchel. Park plays now by the tanks. Uh, this should be 5 0, right? Should Twist be. by himself. He's, yeah, he's not going to hold it. Ample Amp is there as well, but that's, that's not holding anything. Yeah, airhead Air coming, coming in. Yeah, yeah this, this should be 5 0 for Refuse here as they kind of just overpowered um, GXV uh, from point to point, uh, slowly but surely. And, um, you know, credits to both teams for putting up a, a, a good game, a full 90, uh, possibly here. Uh, Twist is still alive in the house. He's. <laughs> <laughs> that's, kick. that's his house um you have a bunch of those those guys on that uh southwest side from yeah but the air spawn comes in no, this, this red roof nah, it's not happening. maybe if you use a tank it's the hard cap but there's no tanks left so ah, that's GG. That is going to be a GG right there, um, especially with one minute, you know. If you take a look right here, you've got Smithers with 1200 CE, he was on Pretty good. Yeah. Um, artillery. artillery right there. Uh, you've got, you know, Scooties, his is 1800, I believe he was uh, Assault. Uh, Adner's tank squad, 3500. Pretty good, yeah. So, um... A very interesting game. Um, I mean, just just some last minute thoughts here, Nick, of, of what you saw today and how it was. Uh, I saw um, Glow holding a relatively, like basically holding the line. Yeah. Sort of as a, as a game play style that the line plays as well, right? Right. Set up a line, like one side of the map to the other side of the map, and just don't let them get past. Mm -hmm. And then... What Refuse has to do is just bump their heads into that wall over and over and over until they get somewhere. And that's eventually what they did manage to do. Right. And then especially with the one Artie roll uh, and no Panthers, I think um, if those were to be in play, I think the, the whole gameplay of this actual match would have been different, in my it opinion. It would have been a much faster game, I think. Yeah. Um, but, but in all... Uh, I enjoyed casting it. Uh, it was, I think, it was a good comeback game for for me to get warmed up with. Um, I just want to say uh, thank you, uh, Quicknix, uh, good friend, caster, uh, hella loose player. Um, remember, guys, if you ever want to play games with a hella loose and CS:GO, this is the only two he's playing right now. <laughs> but uh, but but I appreciate you, Nick. Uh, you have any last words you want to plug some of your stuff and no, i just want to say thank you for having me as a co-cast today much appreciated yeah so um we will end this with gxv losing zero to five uh against refuse on utah beach uh thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a great weekend
Later on today, I will have a 35v35 APL match. And tomorrow, I have one CDL versus VLK 49 uh, versus 49. So stay tuned. Bye, guys.